Natalie Ortega, 27. She expired before a library card. Manuel Ortega, 28. He's circling the drain as we speak. You think he's gonna make it? He's breathing through his chest. Mother, father, daughter makes three. Table set for four. They were expecting company. Somebody had the good fortune to miss dinner. How many saints do you know that are blown away by an automatic weapon? He's a disappointed patriot. This was a political hit. Travel agency, huh? How do they move their drugs? Telepathy? Arius gets blown away just after he lands. Who knew he was coming? His travel agent. The cartel doesn't like family members to settle disputes in public. Manuel hits Arius. They send a signal. Don't anybody do it again. The feds say the passports belong to Colombian hit squads. One name is an alias used last year by guess who? Javier Gaetan. Your client is Murder Incorporated's travel agent. You bought a ticket for the guy who shot your pal Manuel. We are talking about conspiracy, murder too. He didn't kill anybody. Tell your client the law counselor. What is he talking about? We don't need all the conspirators to put one away. The DA says the feds will go along with us. He gives us Gaetan, he gets accessory, man one. Look, I booked the flights, and that's all. Under what name? Esteban. Your Colombian clients, what hotel do you book them into? The Europa, Park Avenue. The only prints in the hotel room were the maids. Two local calls from the room. Sloppy, Elvis. Sloppy. Desperate. He botches a hit. He knows there's a welcoming committee at home. Thank you very much. OK. He called Alvaro Graphics, 18th Street. And then six hours later, Sandra Alvaro, 2120 Broadway. Let's go. You didn't know. What did you think? He was in town for the hardware convention? 10, 12 years ago in Bogota. I knew him as a boy. Uh, our parents played tennis together. I just gave him a place to sleep. Come on, he had an expensive bed at the Europa Hotel. Sandra, harboring a fugitive, accessory to murder, that's a long time away from your nice co-op. But you help us, we'll get you a very protected cell, and we'll tell the DA that you cooperated. I don't know where he went. But is he coming back? He always calls first, a few minutes before he comes. He said to be home this afternoon around 4.30. Here he comes, one, two, three, now. My name is Paolo Esteban. I am a citizen of Colombia. I would like to call a lawyer. Good. Let's go. Ms. Alvaro, do you recognize this man? Paolo Esteban. I knew him in Bogota. Ms. Alvaro, you identified this man as Javier Laureano Gaetan. The police threatened me. Police coercion. This is heinous. Frankly, I'm tempted to believe the DEA. However, the French warrant, Mr. Stone? Mr. Minetti has a document from the French embassy. It's under challenge. If it's not enforceable here, you can't have the 30 days. I'd love to let you hold him, but he has the same rights as any defendant. Pursuant to CPL 18080, the people have four days to file an indictment or you let him go. The harboring charge is crap. She admitted it to a detective. Plus the no bail thing. I mean, did the Supreme Court do away with civil rights while I was sleeping? She is a flight risk seller. Come on, she testifies five minutes later. She might as well throw herself under a subway car. The woman wants to survive. Fine, we're dropping all charges. She can go home now. Guard. He's in a hurry. Press conference. <sighs> We're announcing a new prosecution witness expected to solidify our case. What's your friend Gaetan going to think when you get out of jail? 
This is not you, Ben. This is definitely me, Sally. When a cop gets shot building a case, I want a conviction. Please, don't do this to me. I didn't know what he did. Not till this time. I want Sandra Alvaro declared unavailable as a witness because she was threatened. Rikers is a 45-minute ride. That's not available? And I want a sworn statement read in the record as her testimony in this case. Judge, come on. You can't even consider this. Of course I can. That's why they give me the black robe. The witness was threatened. The defendant waives his right to cross-examination. Fine. Read her statement into the record and let her testify in rebuttal. In rebuttal against herself? This is a trial, not a circus. This court orders Mr. Alvaro's sworn statement read into the record. I'll instruct the jury she's unavailable. District Attorney Stone. Did he tell you why he needed to stay at your apartment? Alvaro, he said he shot two people. He said he had to ride. Oh, excuse me, not ride, it reads hide. He said he had to hide. District Attorney Stone, did he tell you where he was calling from? Alvaro, he said the Europa Hotel. He was using the name Paolo Esteban. District Attorney Stone, why did you first deny knowing that Mr. Esteban was Mr. Gaetan? Alvaro, I was scared. Javier kills people. I'm afraid he'll kill me. That's all, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Thompson. I instruct the jury to treat this like any other testimony, giving it no more or no less weight than any other witness. As to the first count of the indictment in the matter of Manuel Ortega and the charge of murder in the second degree, how does the jury find? We find the defendant guilty. As to the second count of the indictment in the matter of Natalie Ortega, the charge of murder in the second degree, how does the jury find? We find the defendant guilty. If he wants to talk about drug dealers, he can have parole in 25 years. He talks about dealers, the cartel will get him and out of here. Tell me you're not glad to see Gaetan dead. Frank, I'm an officer of the court. Even if I were, I couldn't say so. I read in the paper they would let him go. He buys his way out in Colombia, and he buys his way out here. What I did, it's wrong. The plea agreement is so entered. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we ask the court to release Mr. Cristobal two days before the final sentencing so that he may say goodbye to his family and put his affairs in order. Mr. Robinette. Mr. Cristobal confessed to a homicide, Your Honor. And a terrible crime it is. Do you know what they say, Mr. Robinette, do unto others? I'm going to lower the bail to $100,000. Can your client come up with a bond, Mr. Hoover? Yes, Your Honor. He can have his two days. He shoots someone in cold blood, and the court acts as if he's doing us a favor. It's two days. Let him sign everything over to his wife and kiss her goodbye. We have a problem. The gun dealer, Lebrano, had a call from his lawyer. Lebrano says Cristobal's grieving daddy routine was an act. He works for the same organization that employed Mr. Gaetan. Cristobal's wife cleared out their bank accounts before the hearing. They're on a plane 40 minutes after the plea was entered. Cartel had to get rid of Gaetan. They were worried that he make a deal. You sometimes feel that we're running in place. Yes. The gun dealer was in the yard at Rikers. Had his throat cut. Buena Ventura was strangled in the kitchen at Danamora. Manuel Ortega's mother fell out of a window. What about the little girl? She was picked up at school by her uncle. She doesn't have an uncle. <laughs>